jinkies. To find the cylinder, we have to find pi times r square times height. Hmm. If you can find the volume of a cylinder, you think you can find the volume of a person? Hmm. So my calculations. Hmm. I think we can. We should do a project about it. We should. Yes. Yes. What if this is bigger and we use a real, actual human? That's a really good idea. We could fit, fill the cylinder with water and find the volume of the bigger cylinder and then dip ourselves into that cylinder and then measure the water that's left in the cylinder. I think that might just work. Hmm. <laughs> further, further, no, you're all the way up. All right, now get him out. Don't okay. <laughs> the volume of this cylinder, you find the area of the base and then you pi r squared times the height of the cylinder and that's how you find the volume, ladies and gentlemen. Bam. Cut. Okay. Here's a, um, a cylinder. It has, a, it has two equal or congruent sides for the circle for the base and top. And if you look here, there's a net. The net will show you as like a rectangle and the two congruent circles. 